So it's getting pretty late in the evening and I've been thinking about supper. Do you ever do this? I had a whole thing planned in my mind what I was gonna make for supper and then I suddenly changed it. And even though it's late, I've just totally changed my mind and now I want something totally different. I'm not really prepared for it because one of the things I want is soup beans. I did not let them soak overnight. It's uh, the day's almost gone, so I'm gonna cook them in the Instapot. I usually don't do that. I love to cook my soup beans in the crock pot all day, sometimes even at night, start them and then let them cook through the next day. I've got a video about those I will share with you, but today I've decided I want some soup beans, so I'm gonna do them in the Instapot. What really changed my mind was I was out in the garden and I harvested some um, turnips and some turnip greens and then also some carrots. So I was thinking about, I really wish I could use these today, but I've done planned something else for supper. And I thought, nope, I'm going to change. I'm going to just totally throw out my plans out the window and I'm going to cook soup beans and I'm going to make turnips with turnip greens and with those carrots, some of them, I've got to hurry because I'm running out of time already, but I'm going to make a carrot cake. So I thought that you might want to join me while I cook supper for my family. So the first thing I need to do is just trim up what I harvested this morning. So I've got me a bucket down here for scraps. Just kind of go ahead and trim the turnips, trim those wonderful greens. I probably trim them a little bit more once I get inside. Brush off some of the dirt. Kind of harvested some leaves with my when I brought them in. The leaves are falling everywhere in Appalachia now. They've almost fell, all of them, almost gone. I put that turnip in the wrong bowl. I'm already getting mixed up. There's my leaves. The leaves have been really pretty this year, though, but they're just about all gone. Now for my carrots. These are some huge carrots. What I did was this was the first time I ever grew carrots this year. The first time ever. Well, we've been eating them through the summer, but as I would pull some of them up, if there was some fraud, some carrots that didn't have any carrot on them, I would kind of peek down in the dirt. I just left them. So this is a carrot that's been growing all summer. I expect that it's probably going to be kind of strong, but we're still going to use it. Still going to use it. This one's not as long as that one. There's some kind of the shorter ones. Now I'm ready to go in and grate up some carrots and get my cake started. Okay, I've got the cake in the oven, so now I'm going to put the beans in the Instapot. And I've looked the beans and rinsed them in some water. And I'm only cooking about a little over a cup for me and Matt. It, we can eat on this for at least two days, if not three days. Uh, Katie's not a big, big soup bean fan, so she probably won't eat any of them. So this will be plenty for me and Matt. So I'm going to go ahead and after I, I've looked them and went through them and made sure there's no little, sometimes there's little hard pieces of like rock or, or grit in there. And I've got rid of them and got rid of some beans that didn't exactly look right. So now I'm going to put them in the Instapot. Now to season them, you can season beans with whatever, you don't have to season beans with anything if you don't want to. There's one bean that I've left. Actually, that one's pretty shriveled. Let's get rid of it. Corey's helping me. Um, 
but we season ours usually with some type of meat maybe ham bacon today i've got side meat which is salt pork some people call it fat back in my area some people call it um, side meat or streaked lean streak of lean i've heard all those things to talk about salt pork in my area so it really depends on you in addition to add and i'm going to add like maybe maybe just one piece of the streaked meat i'm going to also add just a little squirt of olive oil and then i'm not really going to season them very much because i have that um, salt pork in there which is pretty salty and then I'll taste them once they're done and see if I think I need to adjust any kind of seasoning and then I'm going to put some water over them and it doesn't take very much water in the instant pot I know that but I like to I like to have the broth I like all my if it's beans if it's chicken and dumplings whatever soups all those kind of things I like the broth I like the real thin broth instead of real real thick stuff so i'm going to put plenty of water in mine you may not need to put that much uh, depending on how much beans you you actually are going to cook okay i got the lid on that's the hardest part of using the instapot to me is i can never get the lid back on but it's on now so i'm going to do i'm going to pressure them for for 30 minutes and then just let them release on their own and that way i'll be sure that they're they're good and done and if I taste them and they're not soft enough to my liking, then I can add a little bit more pressure. But for now, the beans are on. Now I've got to turn to the turnips, the turnip greens, and the cornbread. So now I'm going to wash my turnips. Uh, normally I peel any of these around the edges. They get kind of pithy and woody. If they like that, I peel them. That one feels pretty good, though, so I may just leave it. Uh, and you can get a little brush after them if you want to. I will dice these up smaller, so when I'm doing that, after I get the dirt off of them, then I might decide to, to trim the tops or the bottoms off. Now, when it comes to washing turnips, a lot of times, or turnip greens, excuse me, people will, and I do this sometimes, you like to kind of um, soak them in salt water, and that way it gets any, any kind of little bugs or anything off of them. I'm not going to do that today since I'm in a hurry. I'm just going to kind of, and I don't have very many either. I'm just going to, I'm going to break off this larger stem down here, and then just kind of look at them and rinse them under water, and then be ready to put them in the pot. Okay, now I'm going to put some of the fat back. I'm just going to cut a little bit of it up to season our, our greens with. That's probably enough. the pork kind of rendered out a little bit not very much but since I'm in a hurry I'm gonna go ahead and add some water and then I'm gonna start just kind of got my scissors here I'm just gonna start cutting my my greens up my turnip greens up and putting them in there So sometimes with the really big leaves, the, the stem kind of gets tough. So that's just up to you whether or not you want to put them in there or not. If you, if you cut them up pretty small, they still end up getting tender. But again, that's just personal preference. A lot of people um, take them out and then a lot of people say, well, you're wasting. <laughs> you're being wasteful. So that's just kind of something you have to figure out for yourself. I don't, I don't really waste them, though, if I don't put them in there because my chickens eat them.
and just kind of wad them up together. And that one's got a big old stem in it. And then kind of cut. And of course you could just do it with a knife or tear it, either one. Whatever, you, whatever works for you is what you should do. Now I'm going to trim up my turnips, get that kind of that rough part where they were growing out of the ground off and chop them up and put them in. I'll probably add a little bit more water and then season with some um, pepper and maybe some salt. This one's got a bad place on the inside of it, too. It's a good thing I decided to harvest these today. i got to save me a, a little bite for myself. I love raw turnips. Okay, I'm going to eat one piece. Mm, they're so good. I'm going to add me some more water. And some pepper. Salt. I don't need much salt though because I've got those that salt pork. I don't think nothing's coming out of my shaker. I'm gonna need some. Now I'm gonna you usually if I had all day, if I'd have thought of this early this morning or yesterday, I would have started these this morning and kind of let them simmer all day. But since I'm I'm in a hurry and trying to get it done, I'm gonna turn them up pretty high and let them cook pretty hard. Getting closer. I'm about ready to put my cornbread in now. Got my pan hot from being in the oven while it was coming to heat. It was actually already kind of warm from the cake. But. Okay, cake's out of the oven and iced. I normally, this is Granny's recipe that she always used for carrot cake. She'd make it every Easter. It's what I grew up on. It's a good, good recipe. I'll link to it in the description below so that you can see it. And normally I would make it in a uh, two nine-inch cake pans and frost it and put coconut on it like Granny did. But since I was in a hurry, I baked it in a long pan because I thought it would bake faster and the icing would be easier to put on. The frosting would be easier. And I surely should have waited till it cooled off. My icing's kind of melting. But it will still be very tasty and I know my family will appreciate it. Okay, finally got it done. We did have to do the beans a little bit longer. 30 minutes wasn't quite long enough. So we added 15 minutes to them and did them again. But that gave me time to make sure I got everything else ready and the turnips plenty of time to, to cook. Get that wonderful broth. You gotta get the juice. Pot liquor. Matt's excited about the turnips. Cause yeah. And the greens. I love turnips and greens. some of our peppers. Matt's really enjoyed the ones, the, the cayennes. He's eat the whole jar. I think him and Papa eat the whole jar of just the cayennes. This is some that's got a few cayennes and a few regular peppers in it. You have to be 
to dig down in there to get what he wants, though. There you go. That one? I think so. That great big lung in there, that's it's hot, I know. Yeah. There we go. Looks like a feast. Absolutely. Are you glad I decided to change my mind at the last minute and fix this? Well, I don't know what you are cooking before <laughs> this, but this right here will do. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. So what I was actually thinking of fixing before I thought of all this, when I harvested those turnips outside, was I was gonna fix um, little, not really pork chops, but little pork pieces and just biscuits and gravy and eggs. That was what I was gonna have. So I'll have that later. No, <laughs> what, you'd rather have that than this? No, that just sounds good too. Oh, okay, Matt's <laughs> looking at me like, I'm like, what? I figured you'd rather have this, but he said that sounds good too. So we'll have that later in the week, of course. Now, this is not the first turnips that Matt and I have had this year, this season. We had some that we didn't grow. This is the uh, first that we've harvested from our garden. But we had some that someone else grew just down the road, and they were big, beautiful turnips. And I made them like I always do. I cut them up and I uh, stewed them. I didn't actually put the greens in with those. But anyway, but, but we couldn't eat them. They were so strong and so bitter. Now, I know a lot of people say to, that they put sugar in their turnips, but I, I didn't grow up doing that, and I just never even think about doing it. So that might have helped them. But then after uh, we had tried to eat them, we really just couldn't eat them. I didn't even save the leftovers. I think I fed them to the chickens. I said, I wonder why they were so bitter. But then I, after I thought about it, I thought, because it's not frosted. That's why. So I really think... A couple of frost really does something to turnips and different greens. So I've already tasted these. I tasted them when I whoops when I uh, was chopping them up to put them in the in the pot, and they are sweet. They were really good. So I know that these are going to be be delicious. I got to get me some of that juice too. I love the love the broth, bean broth. Now I'm excited about eating the turnips. I like the greens too, but I probably like the turnips more than the greens. Matt may like the greens more than the turnips, but all together is the best way to eat them. I'm gonna get me a pepper, but I'm not gonna go for one of the hot ones. I'm gonna go for one of the little small ones that I know is not hot. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for my spur of the moment supper. I'm glad I made this decision. I'm so excited about eating the turnips and I can eat soup beans and cornbread pretty much every day. I should have cut us a big onion, but I didn't. I didn't even think of that till right now because I was in such a hurry. But these peppers will go really good with it. Good meal. Exemplary meal, as usual. Are you ready for some cake? Yes, ma'am. Hope this will be good.